the federal government must rapidly prepare plans to redesign Glen Canyon Dam's plumbing to keep the Colorado River flowing through the Grand Canyon as the water levels behind the dam continue to fall. A coalition of environmental groups warned on Wednesday that Lake Powell is just a quarter full, its surface now at 3,536 feet above sea level, 46 feet from the minimum level to produce hydropower, and falling after the early summer gush of snowmelt from the Rocky Mountains. Two more dry winters could push the reservoir past that point, according to forecasters, and ultimately dam managers may have to open bypass tunnels more than 100 feet deeper just to keep the river flowing. If it comes to that, the river advocates and their new analysis caution, those tunnels will prove insufficient to release as much water as the southwest counts on to pass through the Grand Canyon and restock Lake Mead. Each year dot this system needs flexibility, and it needs it now, said Eric. His Glen Canyon Institute partnered with the Utah Rivers Council and the Great Basin Water Network on a new report urging action. Lake Powell's elevation has dropped more than 160 feet since it was essentially full at the turn of this century, and the pace has quickened in recent years. Dropping below what the outlets were designed to handle would jeopardize delivery of the water needed to irrigate farms and fully supply cities from Phoenix and Las Vegas to Los Angeles and Tijuana. The group's quest is to persuade the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation, which manages the dam, to study how to keep the river flowing if, as their analysis suggests, climate change and overuse push the system to a breaking point in coming years. Their preferred alternatives are to either expand the capacity of the bypass tunnels or build new tunnels at the dam's base to allow the river to flow, even if Lake Powell empties. On their first premise the need to act to prevent the loss of hydropower, they'll find agreement from many corners. The Bureau of Reclamation, the state of Arizona and the group representing the dam's hydropower customers, all say the region's two decades of drought present an imminent threat to normal operations at Glen Canyon. Given the current uncertainties facing the Colorado River system, as well as the engineering uncertainties involving moving water through the existing infrastructure of Glen Canyon Dam, with historically low levels, it would be prudent to thoroughly investigate all reasonable options for making changes to the infrastructure of the dam that enhance its capacity to move large volumes of water safely said Arizona Water Resources Director Tom Dot. A reclamation spokeswoman said the agency has committed $2 million to studying options to both continue generating power and meet water supply commitments to Arizona, Nevada, California and northwestern Mexico. One such idea that has long been discussed is the option of fitting hydropower turbines lower in the bypass tunnels. The idea of building new outlets around the dam's base, essentially allowing the government to drain the reservoir at least temporarily if and when water managers decide it that's best, is more controversial. It gets you to the same point, environmentalists have always been at, and that's drain out Powell and Phil Mead, said Leslie James, executive director of the Colorado River Energy Distributors Association. The Glen Canyon Institute for years advocated a Phil Mead first proposal that would push Powell's stored water downstream to an equally depleted Lake Mead, restoring treasured natural and recreational assets flooded behind Glen Canyon Dam. That's a prospect that ends hydropower production for customers who live around the West, including numerous tribes, so James opposes it. But she welcomes a reclamation study of other options. I'm glad they're doing it, she said. They're the ones that know the dam inside and out. Phil Mead first is an idea whose time has passed, Bach said, if only because draining all the water from Powell at this point would not, in fact, be nearly enough to fill the larger reservoir downstream. Instead, he said, a river-level bypass system would allow the government to continue moving water downstream, regardless of how low Lake Powell falls. As currently designed, the dam would stop releasing water if the reservoir falls below the existing bypasses, effectively drying up the Grand Canyon and trapping nearly 2 million acre feet of water behind the dam, nearly two thirds of what Arizona would normally take from the river in a year. But the Southwest would suffer long before the river actually stopped flowing, Bach and colleagues say because the reservoir's declining elevation would reduce pressure that causes water to gush from either the power intakes or the bypass tunnels.
For this part of their analysis, they relied on a white paper produced by river scientist Jack Schmidt and colleagues at Utah State University.